Hi, uh, my name is Abhishek. I am the cat buddy. And today I have the honor of interviewing Mr. Ramiz, who is the assistant professor for the new college for Department of Criminology and Police Administration. Hello. Hello. So, Ramiz, thank you so much, first of all, for nice joining in today on yeah. your busy day. Thank so, you. criminology, yeah, criminology, like if you want to explain to a layman, what does criminology mean? So, criminology is actually a blend of psychology, mm -hmm. law, and mm -hmm. forensics. So we do have uh, um, subjects like forensic medicine, forensic science, abnormal psychology, comparative criminal justice, and law, and all these kind of things. And like uh, we are uh, a study where uh, about the society hmm. and the problems in the society. Okay. So we are studying about that hmm. and how an individual should cope up the society uh, in connection with the law and the general con in the constitution. So this is what we teach, actually. So we are a blend of all these subjects. Law, forensic, psychology, and uh, um, anything like leading with the end research too. Research. So the maximum scope of criminology, we have, uh, we are uh, having, we are having an extended scope in research, wow. uh, in criminological research, where our students are getting uh, uh, placed in uh, big countries. They are doing uh, uh, research in big countries and all over the globe. So we have been extending over the globe mm. only for the research purposes. So criminology is a developing discipline. So it's a developing discipline, discipline and the yeah. students who go through this discipline are moreover focused on the research part. Yeah, exactly. So all over the globe. All over the globe. globe yeah. And uh, this uh, specific branch focuses on so much combination that you said. Yeah. It's uh, law, it's, it's psychology. It's a of law, psychology and forensics. Forensic. 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 Because criminology means in my mind what comes is generally, you know, a crime scene happen and there is yeah. this detective popping up and he's investigating. Yeah, that obviously. We are, we are, co we are having, handling the core uh, pr perspective in uh, detective, private detective. So, so collecting those yeah. evidences, evidences so it requires exactly. a combination of so many other yeah. faculties only in india we mm. don't co uh, collaborate with the police for exactly. working with uh, for any kind of uh, crime det detection or something mm. but in countries like us and uk right. police do collaborate with the criminologists okay. for finding a, a crime evidence evidences. and uh, for uh, in other processes in uh, de detecting a crimes so we do they do collaborate with the criminologists so in that way we are extending the globally Fantastic. Only in India we have to be a government servant. Yeah, because to, yeah. police is the police one who is the collects one, yeah. the evidence. The enforcement. They are the, one enforcement. the enforcement. So as you as you see, I mean, we know that the crime rate okay. all over the world is just operating, increasing only. Yeah. It's not reducing. Yeah. So in today's world, most of the crimes have shifted digital. Digital. It's no yeah. more physical. You don't yeah, have exactly. to conduct a crime. Yeah. You can be digital. So in this scenario, where do you think uh, the the technology or the uh, IT is coming closer to criminology. Is there any scope? So not only for criminology, hmm. right? For, for all the other streams and domains, uh, technology is playing an, an integral part. Absolutely. Obviously. Absolutely. So in, the, in that case, uh, now it's a duty, hmm. not only a duty, and it's a responsibility of every individual, irrespective of any stream or any domain, hmm. to have a knowledge, a basic knowledge in IT and this technology, right. to defend themselves, to defend themselves, first of all, to defend themselves. Defend themselves Second is to defend their close people. Right. And the other is that to know the basic uh, criteria of what's happening around them. So this is the major thing. Why should they should know about technology or something. And uh, one more is that there is no person without uh, using social media or something. Absolutely. And now the perpetrators have completely changed now. Like yes. they get yes, into yes, the yes. Uh, cyber side. So they are exactly. attacking. They are attacking us to, from the cyber side. Exactly. Because they, because no thief is going to come and uh, rob you. Right. So it's getting difficult now in Absolutely. this uh, time. Absolutely. So they get into the even it's difficult for them to. So yeah. they get into the cyber space, they easily hacking into your account. Yes. And they take off your money. Exactly. So that's getting very uh, common nowadays. So in in order to protect from themselves, okay. basic knowledge about this uh, technology and uh, how to use the technology and how to use the cyber space, you need to learn what technology is and how it works actually. So in that case, first to not only for your uh, career and not for um, um, saving yourself and not for like uh, progressing yourself, you should learn IT. Just mm. to defend yourself, mm. you need this IT and knowledge about the technology. Exactly. So it's no more, as you rightly said, that the yeah. criminals are operating in an independent space. Yeah, exactly. Now, since world over, everything has shifted online. Yeah. So crimes have shifted online. So a fundamental understanding of information technology is a must. Obviously. And every domain is a must. Yeah. And coming to criminology, it is even more important. Yeah, exactly. So tell me more, like, what do you think as uh, here at CAT Center, you think how we can contribute towards the well-being or understanding of uh, students at New College in Criminology through the uh, IT okay. time. Okay, Chad has been uh, collaborating with us as a MOU, 
uh, MOU with uh, with our firm around some since uh, 15 years, 15 right. or 10 to 15 years. Nice. So in that way, uh, what speciality is that uh, more than IT students, non-IT are uh, getting enrolled into CAD. That's from our new college. Obviously, like uh, what we see that, mm. uh, like which we are not exposed a lot, we are more interested to get explored. Very good. So in that way, non-IT students are getting more, are drifting towards the IT thing. Correct, correct. And because like uh, the basic part of them is IT is paying them more. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, paying them more and uh, they find it uh, so attractive. Yes. And, they, and all those gimmicks that's getting, the IT is giving them, they are so much attracted towards it. Exactly. And Obviously, students are different towards IT because uh, the ultimate they believe that the ultimate uh, academic success lies when they earn more than their father's salary. <laughs> so that's what <laughs> that's, they want to. That's, that's what that's, they, that's that's the only way they are different towards it. And now, uh, when we come to the criminology, mm -hmm. the core subjects are like the the core job we are getting is private detective right. and security field, right. uh, like security advisors in yes. uh, malls, uh, five star hotels, etc. Right. And all these uh, kind of jobs. Uh, the payment is like, uh, you get a very good payment actually, but the payment, the starting payment will be like uh, uh, starting from ascending to descend, uh, descending to ascending okay. in that way. But in only in IT related things and cyber security, the salary will be like hiking up the, right from the first salary. Right. So in that case, students are getting interested to drifting towards IT. Right. And what is that now? Is it, we have been like, uh, like I told you, everything is getting into cyber now. True, true. So everything is getting into cyber now. So people are more interested in doing cyber security rather than the normal security. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm sure, uh, thank you for the conversation. I'm sure today's um, uh, the batch of students which has, have come, I just saw yeah. them. They were uh, quietly, funnily engaging yeah. with the uh, instructor, with the Python. Okay. And I'm sure many more to come. I think uh, students should be very happy to have an amazing <laughs> uh, professor who is thinking, who is a visionary. I mean, honestly, how many uh, teachers would think of that vision? So you're able to understand where the forensic lies, what IT is going to do yeah. today and down the line years. Also at the same time, you're bringing the student queries and trying to collaborate with CAT Center. Yeah, exactly. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank and you. I'm sure we uh, all the very best for your upcoming batches. And I'm sure more and more, they have more engagement with CAT Center and learn more of the IT. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.